Hey guys, I'm Will and I'm here today to talk to you about the Grimspeed Air Oil Separator Install for the O2 through O7 WRX and STI. We're going to start off by taking a look at what's in the package when you get this. The first thing you're going to notice is, of course, our greeting card. Just saying thanks for choosing us. Next up, some craft paper. Yeah, just throw that away. And this bag is going to actually contain the core and body of the AOS. Well, it's a little difficult getting out of here, as you can see, but once you kind of try enough, it'll come out there. There we go. Now it's pressure fit in there with O-rings, so don't expect it just to slide out. You do have to put a little pressure on there, but pop it off and take a look around. This thing is really a beauty inside and out. Next up is the hose. Here at Grimspeed, we've got a lot of hose, so we decided we'd share. And of course the bag with all the goodies. Inside the bag you're going to find our lovely Grim Speed sticker, which you should definitely put on your car. The assembly pieces that come with the AOS, you shouldn't have to supply any of your own parts. And of course the detailed install instructions. Now that we have everything out of the box, we're going to start by taking the fittings and hand screwing them into the body of the AOS. Make sure all the O-rings are on there nice and tight. Now what we don't show you here is that we actually are going to tighten these down with either a 7 8 or a 22 millimeter wrench. And make sure they get nice and snug till those O-rings pop right in the body. Be careful not to scratch this. Please take note that there are many different ways to install the hoses on this kit. We're going to show you a couple different ways, and one of them includes cutting some of the OEM hoses. This is not a necessary step. This is simply to show you one of the many ways. Also note that there are a few clips that we did remove from the hoses. The tools we're going to be using today are a pair of pliers, the eight supplied zip ties in the kit, a 19 millimeter socket or lug wrench to tighten down the core to the body, and a cutting tool to cut the hose, whether it's scissors, a blade, or an actual hose cutting tool, in about one hour of your time. To start off, we're going to remove the OEM oil cap. We're going to take the body and place it on there so the left port of it is just in front of the oil dipstick. And just hand screw that core in. You'll tighten it up later. Now to start off, we're going to locate the hose on the left bottom port of the head breather metal tube. You're just going to pull this bottom hose off there, but leave it connected down low. Now there's a couple different ways you can do this. The first way is to kind of twist it and have it go over the throttle body. Um, otherwise, you can turn it a little more and tuck it under your lines if you have a drive-by cable. If you have drive-by wire, there's a couple other options as well. You can run it this way and run it this way, but the option that we chose was to actually take this and we ended up cutting it right at the elbow, so the line ended up running straight over towards the direction of our AOS. Now we're going to take this half-to-half -half connector and slide it in the end of this hose. Now this fitting along with any fittings during this install, you can use a little bit of water or oil to help these slide together onto the hoses, as well as on the actual fittings of the AOS. This will help installation quite a bit and makes life a little easier, but you are going to be securing these down with the zip ties, so you should not worry about these coming loose. For the first hose we're going to be running, we're going to cut a piece of hose about 14 and a half inches in length. Now this is going to vary depending on your install. We're going to connect it up to the fitting that we just put into that line and to the fitting in the middle of the AOS. Now the next hose we're going to be focusing on is the one that goes to the leftmost portion of the AOS. We're going to connect this up to the empty spot on the head breather that we left open 
Now we're going to connect this hose and snap these into the OEM clips that were left by removing the last hose. We're going to slide this under the lines here and route this right over to the left portion of the AOS. Now the piece of hose that we cut for this section was about 26 inches in length. Once again, this will vary depending on how you want to install this. For hooking up the last hose for our AOS, we're going to look to the left hand side of the engine right in front of the turbo compressor housing. There's a hose there that's connected to either a white or a little gray piece sticking out of the inlet. That's the hose and connector right to the left of it. This goes down and connects to your PCV and your crankcase breather port. Now this hose is going to be slightly used in this installation, so try not to damage it. We're going to pull it off of the piece that's connected to the inlet, so it's open just like that. Now once that is open, you're going to take the supplied cap and put that over the either white or gray connector piece that's attached to the inlet. Now there's a couple ways of doing this next part and we're going to start by taking our half to half connector and plugging it into the hole that was created by removing this line. Now option one, number one for routing this is going to be connect the last bit of hose we have and run it over the throttle body to the last port on the AOS. The next option is to run a piece of line underneath the bypass valve and the throttle body and have it end up on the other side and connect it to the half to half connector that way. This will hide the hose a little bit and add for a little more sleek look. Now the third way we did it actually was to remove the hose off of the T down there remove the half to half connector and we actually snipped this hose right under the elbow. Now the reason we did this is when we put it back in we can twist it so it faces underneath the throttle body so that way there's no bend or crease in the hose. Now that the half to half connector is back into that piece we're going to push it underneath. With that hose run and connect it to the half to half connector, you can see that it gets a lot more hidden once you slide the rest of that underneath the throttle body. Now simply run that last line coming through there back to the last port on the AOS, which should be the right side. Now once this is all done, make sure that you put zip ties on all the connections that you made. We supplied eight of them, make sure you use those. And to finish tightening down your core, simply take that wrench or a lug wrench and finish tightening that down so it gets a good strong seal. And that's about it. This thing is ready to rock and roll, maintenance free, easy to use.